Crohn's disease is a rare disease characterized by mucosal ulceration and inflammation which occur along the gastrointestinal tract including the oral cavity. If we found a typical lesion in oral cavity, it is hard to find the correlation with Crohn's disease. Today, I am going to present a case report entitled Appendectomy as one of the triggers for Crohn's disease and a typical oral lesion in Crohn's disease. My name is Helen from Faculty of Dentistry, Universitas Pajajaran, Indonesia. Let's start with the case. A 24 years old man came to the outpatient oral disease clinic Hasan Sadikin Hospital, Bandung on August 26, 2019. With a major complaint of recurrent ulcers in the oral cavity, which was preceded by the onset of pimples on head and back, bloody diarrhea and pain in the anus after appendectomy six months ago at SMD Hospital, the patient worked at a bread factory in the Bandung City. Extraoral examination revealed anemic conjunctiva, non-jaundice sclera, palpable rubbery and pain on the right submandibular lymph node and dry lips. Intraoral examination showed oval ulcers, various in size, shallow concave base, irregular border, surrounded by erythema areas on the upper labial mucosa, right lateral tongue and gingival region 1, 4, 3, 6, and 4, 6. There were painless erythema areas surrounded by white plaques forming an island-like pattern on the dorsum of the tongue. One week later, the patient's knees are swollen and painful if he walked. Laboratory examination result showed high values of leukocyte and IgE and low values of MCV, MGH, and MGHG. The patient was referred to Dermatophenology Department and Internal Medicine Department. From Internal Medicine Department, patient was referred to Gastrohepatoenterology Department for colonoscopy and upper endoscopy. And to Rheumatology Department. He was diagnosed as moderate acne vulgaris, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and folliculitis at Dermatophenerology Department, Crohn disease at Internal Medicine Department, and arthritis related to infection of bowel syndrome at Rheumatology Department. At the oral medicine department, he was diagnosed as aptose like ulcer at causa Crohn disease, exfoliative cellulitis, coated and geographic tongue, generalized chronic marginal gingivitis. He was treated with 0.12% chlorhexidine vehiculinate mouthwash, 0.1% trimsinolone acetonide in oral base, which was then be replaced with a solution of dexamethasone gargle if the ulcer appeared at difficult areas such as the soft palate, 1 mg folic acid, parcelin album for dry lips, a mixed solution consists of diphenhydramine HCL and sucralfate to cure the pain that caused eating difficulties. During the first visit until the 10th revisit, a typical oral lesion appeared and healed alternately in different sites. Aptose stomatitis are marked by white circles and pure stomatitis vegetans is marked by green circle. Pathogenesis. The appendix produces IgA to defense against pathogenic microorganism. Appendectomy causes a decrease and impaired immune balance in the intestinal mucosa. Reduction in its function due to the loss of appendix result in changes in the intestinal flora cause an imbalance or dysbiosis of intestinal microbiota or microbiomas characterized by a decrease in the number of radically bacterium frognisi 
which has anti-inflammatory effects that triggers the activity of the immune system. Genetic factors affect the gastrointestinal mucosal defects as well as the lack of the number of TLR3 and TLR5 receptors compared to normal mucosa, causing an excessive inflammatory response. Inability of the mucosa to suppress excessive immune response causes apoptosis of the intestinal mucosa. During the acute inflammatory period of gastrointestinal tract, there is a decrease in digestive enzyme in the duodenal mucosa causing maldigestion, poor absorption, and intolerance to certain diets such as red meat, milk protein, and dairy products, gluten, and yeast. This leads to increase the epithelial permeability resulting in an increased penetration of pathogenic antigens causing inflammation and degradation of the intestinal mucosal barrier. An increased permeability of the epithelial layer, which allows the pathogens to enter into the less resistant lower mucosa and triggering the activity of antigen receptor in the submucosa and the inflammatory cascade occurs. Attempt revisit, we suggest the patient have to avoid red meat, milk protein and dairy products, gluten and bread. One month later, oral and mucocutaneous lesions healed as well as arthritis on both knees. This picture shows the condition of the patient one month after stop eating red meat, milk protein, gluten and bread. All the lesions were healed. In this case, appendectomy surgery triggered Crohn's disease, which followed by intra- and extra-intestinal manifestations. Clinical symptoms such as anemia, chronic diarrhea, hematosexia, arthritis at both knees, pustules on head and back, a typical relation such as abdostomatitis and biostomatitis vegetans, and lost weight 15 kg in 7 months were found in this case. As a conclusion, tracing the appendectomy history can help in diagnosing patients with atypical lesions such as abdostomatitis and biostomatitis vegetans in the oral cavity. Thank you very much. If there is any question, feel free to contact me by email tamamadu at gmail.com.